setting valve lash on a Honda D-Series engine. A lot of you will get the clicking and clacking from the valve train up here, and here's a quick video on how to fix that up. This is pretty easy. First of all, you'll just want to put your number one piston on top dead center. All right, on your car, crank your wheel to the far left. And then you can have your 17 millimeter socket. It goes right through the hole in the fender skirt. There you go. And you can rotate your engine. First time around, you want to be at top dead center. There's a mark on your harmonic balancer that will line up. This is just like a gun sight. See that? So you'll line your head like this, and there's a mark on your balancer. Once you are on top dead center, you'll be able to ex you'll be able to adjust exhaust on cylinders one and cylinder three. Also, you'll be able to do in intake on cylinder one and cylinder two. All of these valves are on the flat side of the cam, meaning they're not depressed. So that's when you're going to be setting the valve lash. And then you can rotate the engine 180 degrees and you can do the rest. That'd be exhaust for number two and number four. And that would be intake for cylinder three and cylinder four. The clearance for your intake will be seven thousandths on your feeler gauge, and then for exhaust, it'll be nine thousandths. Now you'll want to just get a bit of drag with the feeler gauge when it's between the valve top and the rocker arm adjuster. I'm at top dead center. Here's my nine thousandths feeler gauge on the exhaust valve. And good, there's a little bit of space and there's a little bit of drag between the top of the valve and my feeler gauge. So. On exhaust side, we're doing one, and then three. So there's two, and this is three. That's okay. And this one, I can't get the feeler gauge in. So what we're gonna do, we grab a 10 millimeter wrench, box end wrench, please, and then a flathead screwdriver. What I'm gonna do is break this loose. Now we'll adjust it. I'm just going to adjust it by hand here until I get a little bit of drag. I'm going to put my box in to wrench, make sure you don't move it at all. Hold it still with your flathead and then tighten it down. Check it again. Make sure you didn't accidentally make it too tight. This is just right. I have some drag, but it is not too snug. It feels just like it did before I made the adjustment. Perfect. Now you'll do that on all of them. Two and two tight. Two tight. Perfect. Jolly good. 